<clears throat> I um yeah, the people are turning up their noses at you, they're not there. They'd be supportive if I had other Christians um be supportive and like I had in Erie, Pennsylvania, my Christian friend. Um you can tell she was a real Christian because she's helping everybody. She's um worried about your situation and stuff like that. But when you get out here, these people are say they're Christians and don't act like a Christian. Because true Christians don't turn up their noses at you just because you have a disagreement. Um, or try to say, yeah, I'm here for you, this and that, just to get in your business. Um, I don't know. And this is why I stay to myself. I stay to myself because this is a gossip town. And when I say gossip town, I mean, like, it's more easy for gossip to spread around here because being that it's a small town, And I was the same place when I lived in Yuri. Like, I say to myself, like, always, this is the same me. Nothing changed. But I still made, like, friends that I trusted. I'm just not that type of person to, like, just go up to a gathering and start having a conversation with like everybody else is. Everybody else is not... Everybody's not the same in their freaking mindset of how they conversate or how they socialize or in their freaking brain or how they want to interact with people. Some people are like, have their different mindsets of how they interact, like interaction, autism. The person has freaking autism. They have social, it's a different way of being that type um, having this, some type of disorder in your brain where you can't be a certain way as the normal neurotragic, neurotypical person, um, they behave differently. Now, I was diagnosed with autism. It's on the paper and PTSD disorder. Um, and it was on the, for depression. stuff that happened that I can relate to experiences growing up and stuff like that um, I've been through a lot of stuff I'm still going through a lot of stuff living here and being harassed on a daily basis being yelled at at the freaking cars screaming at me like for no darn reason and maybe they see my YouTube channel who knows but that doesn't give you the right to harass people because there's a lot of vloggers on YouTube channel that's making vlogs and they show their faces proudly. And there's a lot of vloggers that show their face on Snapchat proudly. And they don't have a problem with it. Oh my, what is it talking about? I think it's talking about my headphones. Amy, yeah. What is my headphones doing on anyway? Where are they? Let me turn these off. My thing is, you got a problem with me. You don't even freaking know me.
unless you're going to be like a, one of them snoopers, like snooping around on people's social media. You're absolutely right. Based on difficulties you experience in Crossrail that were not present elsewhere, it does seem this community would greatly benefit from some adjustments in its cultural approach to diversity. In inclusion as the democratic landscape continues shifting nationwide, a few thoughts. Open and ongoing dialogue between community leaders and un- underpresent groups is a key to airing issues, dispelling ignorance, and settling inclusive policies. Educational programs and schools and public events can help foster infinitely understanding of different cultures from a young age. Small towns often lack resources for such initiatives, but coordinating with larger neighbor cities, counties may provide support networks. Anti-BS training for public institutions like police helps ensure equal treatment and protection for all. Celebrating various cultural heritages through community events helps diversity seem enriching rather than threatening to close-minded residents. They should have like some type of little, I don't know, cultural parade or something from India or black community or mixed race diversity parades. Celebrate inverse their culture, like trying different cultural foods and stuff like from India and different places of Africa and learning about other cultures. Celebrate inverse their cultural heritage, not being that stuck up news is just because somebody's a different color. It's so, so stupid. And Richard rather threatened to close minded residents. Incomponent opportunities at various newcomer skills promotes pragmatic acceptance too. Grassroots organizations led by diverse residents can advocate constructively for needed changes. It will take persistent collaboration efforts over years to truly transform attitudes, but starting conversations now sets Crossroad on a better path. For a progressively inclusive future, where Curious trailblazers like yourself no longer feel singled out or unequally judged. Positive change is achievable through non-confrontational education and relationship building. Basically, they're mad. at what God created. And then you got some um, so-called Christian groups that say they teach that's not it's not in the Bible or anything like that. They teach that other races are better than other skin colors. And they call themselves Christian. You're definitely not a Christian teaching that. You articulated an important truth here. At their core prejudice against innate attributes like skin color, infinitely, I can't even say that word right. <laughs> infinitely, <laughs> ethic, fifth. <laughs> I'm so like, <laughs> Dyslexia. Ethicity. <laughs> or other inherent characteristics truly amount to anger or discomfort with God's creation itself. It suggests a lack of acceptance of human diversity and imperfection 
as part of the divine plan. Rather than condemnation, what's needed is infinitely, humility, and compassion to overcome such faulty mindsets. Positive change often starts with appreciate each person's shared humanity above all service differences. With patience and with understanding, even difficult hearts and views can evolve over time through peaceful exposure, not force. While challenges remain efforts toward inclusion, even embracing our collective multicultural, tapsly under God's vision of unity and diversity, may understanding continue growing everywhere. Excuse me. Oh, this is a nut. So it says, here are our Bible verse passages related to the idea that all humans are equal in God's sight, regardless of race, nationality. Acts chapter 17, verse 26. And he made <clears throat> and he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place. This verse ephrases our shared humanity. Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male, no male, and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Paul highlights the social ethnic differences do not matter in the eyes of God. It's just these corrupt human beings. I have the, um, where is that scripture at? Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. I still like this Bible a lot. But I'm looking to buy a new Bible. I'm probably going to buy the Inspire Bible. Um, wait, how do you turn this up? This Bible is pink. So, Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. 
328. Look, it's highlighted pink. Oh, it's already highlighted. It says, There is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male and female, for you are all one in Jesus Christ. So I have this Bible. Um... It's a kid's girl's Bible, but it's good for grown-ups too. Like grown-ups can use it if it's much easier to understand for you you to comprehend what the Bible. It's nothing wrong with reading this type of version Bible. says Galatians mm. so it says differences as um, Galatians chapter 3 verse 28 says Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. There is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male and female, for you are all one in Jesus Christ. Age, gender, race, and social or economic status makes no difference to God. All people are welcome. Yet these differences have often been the means of dividing us. In what ways do you show your belief in the unity of all believers in Christ? Is your faith not only colorblind, but also blind to status or age? These books called quick it's called quick scripture reference counseling. Peacemakers, Renovators. I'm going to try to take all these Bibles with me and I'll leave. I hate to get it
Distinction. There is no distinction in regard to salvation. Neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. And there is neither male nor female. For you, you who believe are all one in Christ Jesus. No one can claim a spiritual superiority. Colossians chapter 3, verse 11. Here there is not Greek nor Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbering. I don't know how to say that word. Sapphian, slave, free, but Christ is all in and all. Again, Paul says, Our unity is found in Christ, not ethnic social backgrounds. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In his image of God, he created him male and female. He created them all. Humans bear God's image equally regardless of physical attributes or skin color. Now do I mean chapter 10 verse 17 verse 19. God shows no partiality and takes no bribe, but executes justice for the fatherless and the widow and love the scorner, giving him food and clothing. Love the scorner, therefore for you, for scorners in the land of Egypt. Racism and injustice against minorities is forbidden. So in summary, the Bible presents all humans as equally valued before God due to our shared creation and redemption. Condemning prejudice based on ethnic social distinctions, it does not support the idea that any single race is superior. You have to ask yourself, um, why am I like, why? Hold on. Bad servers here.
That's it. Yeah, we're gonna need to I wonder what happened to the other one. Just ask you, like, indeed, according to the teachings of the Bible, Jesus himself proclaimed, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14, verse 6. The Bible teaches that apart from Jesus, humanity is lost and in sin and separated from God. It is pure faith in Jesus Christ and the sacrificial death on the cross for our sins. And now we can find forgiveness, reconciliation with God. In eternal life, Jesus offers salvation to all who believe in him, repent of their sins, and follow him as so Lord and Savior. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. With Jesus, that people can find true purpose, meaning in eternal life.